I, I wouldn't want to go to the grave with a with a Jallo film, no, or Bela Tar film. <laughs> Sound of music. I I have to take something joyful to the grave, even though the film has Nazis in it. But at least it's a happy ending. Um, yeah, I, I love Rodgers and Hammerstein. I, the music is something I just find so relaxing and just euphoric, and I feel quite comfortable when I watch that film. Maybe I'd pick a film by someone I love, which is more interesting. Someone like again, um, if I could think of. Bela Tarr, and I, I love his films. Um, I mean, his what the Hungarians call Satan Tango, but let's say Satan Tango. That's one, one of my favorite films. Um, so I was incredibly excited to see The Man from London, and it was just a huge letdown. It just didn't do it for me. Um, I, I just, it just didn't work, even though it was it was well made. Um, so that's a film I wouldn't watch again. Um, but I'd watch his other films again. I love Gremlins. It's just got all these ingredients I love. It's silly. It's um, but but it's also got this Frank Capra feel to it. I'd say Gremlins, but almost any '80s commercial film. I, I I grew up on those films. A year ago, I was asked to pick a film that should be seen on the <laughs> a film that should be seen on the big screen, and I picked a whole bunch and I put as a contingency Goodbye Dragon Inn which I was yet to see but I heard it was I heard it was amazing and I thought oh, I'm going to watch it I'm, I'm bound to and they're not, not going to pick it anyway because they're going to pick my first choice um, and for some reason they couldn't get my first choice and they picked Goodbye Dragon Inn and at that point they'd already asked permission so it was too late so I kind of had to watch it and I just didn't have time because I was prepping flux, there was lockdown chaos and I had to go on stage to um, present the film I hadn't seen. So I just thought I could quite easily lie, um, but it's just not going to, I don't know, I think it's just, I thought it was more in line with the times we're living in, where a lot of people just, I just burnt out, they, they can't see anything. So I think. I just had to just admit I haven't seen Goodbye Dragon Inn. I still haven't seen it. It's on my shelf, but I haven't seen it yet.